just a few days ago, Sunny Huston shocked fans making news for what she recently revealed about her personal life, opening up like never before to People Magazine, sharing her struggles with body image and revealing why she recently had several cosmetic surgery procedures. Here it is. I know, and I'm her friend, and I didn't know. Please welcome to the Tam Tam, three-time Emmy winner, author, and amazing attorney, my friend, Sonny Thank Have you. a seat Thank here. Thank you. Okay. All right, full disclosure, we had a I'm face. I'm hearing people say, wow. Wow, I know. <laughs> I, that's what I said. I, yeah. I was on social media. And I said, wait a minute, what is this article? I don't know about this. And I get closer and closer. I know. And then I realize it says Sunny Hostin's cosmetic surgery journey. Yeah. I've seen you like 50,000 times. I know. I, I know. had no idea. It was, it was this hidden secret. You know, when I was about 16, I had double D boobs. And then after my wonderful, beautiful children, Gabriel, who's 20, and Paloma, 16, they became Gs. And I was an athlete, and I ran marathons, and I started getting this terrible back pain. And it affected my, my body issue images. You know, you said in the article lot. that by the time you were 16, you said I was a double D, but yeah. then you said, my waist was small, but my top was so big, I would wear a minimizer bra and a sports bra or a binder at the, all, all Sometimes the time. all at the same time. Or I would get a very large dress, and then my stylist would put clips on the back of my dress so that everything would fit. Again, as women, we talk about these things in our friendship circles, but yeah. people don't often talk about the pain of having larger breast size. Yes, and it's interesting because I think, you know, some women and men think that that's the goal. I mean, people get implants yeah. to look like that, yeah. right? And you want to look like Jessica Rabbit. I wanted to look like nothing like a Jessica Rabbit. I just wanted a normal body. And it got so bad for me that I was wearing like extra large sweatshirts and I just didn't want to show was my body. Was it painful for you as well as physically what you did? Extremely painful. Like I had terrible back pain. I complained about it to my doctors and many doctors said, you know, a breast reduction would help. And um, I spoke to Joy Behar about this. Well, I know, <laughs> Joy is me. Joy said, I'm worried about anesthesia and the dangers. She's like, it could kill you. And so then I thought, okay, I'm not gonna do it. That was two years ago. But your husband's a doctor. My husband's a doctor, but what happened in our family at least is that, um, and I adore him, we've been together 25 years so of marriage cute. now. So cute. And, uh, <laughs> He had just lost his parents to COVID yeah. in 2020. And I don't think he could deal with the fact that if I went through elective surgery and something went wrong, he would be alone. Of course. And so when I said to him, I'm gonna do this thing, he starts with the, but you're so hot, you're so sexy. Why would you need elective surgery? People pay to look like you. And I'm like, okay. So I didn't. I didn't want to scare him. Yeah, I, I didn't want to scare my family. And I left it alone for two additional years of pain and discomfort and body image issues and being on air where people are very cruel on social media and saying things like, Sonny looks like an elephant. She's huge. She's gotten so, this so is huge. It's so crazy to me because obviously yeah. your studio is right next to ours. Yeah. I see you and every we've hung day. Out. Yeah. You know, you never know someone's story, their journey, and what yeah. they're going through. I've never seen these comments. I've never oh, noticed yeah. it. But you were going through this this body for image thing. For years. I've been on the show for six years, and I have been called every name in the book when referring to my body online. You've talked about, in the article, being at a White House event, and yes. Belle Viv DeVoe was there, and yes. you were going to take a photograph. Yes, it was uh, the White House Correspondents' Dinner just this year, this past year, and um, I didn't get a final dress fitting, which I always have to do because of, had to do, because okay. of the size of my breasts. And um, I got to the hotel room, I didn't have any stylist with me, and I couldn't zip the dress. And so I got someone to get me uh, masking tape, it was actually electrical tape, and I went around and around and around, and I got the dress on, 
but one boob was kind of here, and you can see it in the pictures, and one boob is like kind of here, and they, they asked for a picture, and I, I'm looking like this in the picture because I didn't eat the whole night because if I lifted my arms, my breast would have fallen out because it was a strapless, beautiful dress. So you, you did- And that was the moment. That was the moment. So you that did the, the breast reduction, but you also decided at the same time to do liposuction? Well, I did the breast reduction in a lift with these two fantastic doctors, Dr. Ryan Neinstein and Dr. Anna Steve. She's a breast specialist and he's a lipospecialist and they work together. Okay. Um, I, I always, now I'm like, plastic surgeons are beautiful people. They wanna make you just look good. Like, I'm so happy with them. Um, and he says to me, you know, what, do you ever feel like you have that bulge behind the bra strap? And do you ever feel like you have the bulge on the side? And I said, I feel all of those things. He said, well, I can get rid of that with lipo. And then he said, do you want to do anything about Did this? You? And I said, <laughs> what is this? And he was like, you know, I'm 54. Yeah. So he said, you just have a pocket of fat and no matter how much you weight train or try to lose weight, that won't go away. I said, give it to me all. <laughs> give it to me all. Right. all. So, you know, the, the complexity of it, obviously, and we've talked about cosmetic surgery on the show, and I am yeah. team do what you want to do. Yeah. You have a daughter, Paloma's how old? She's 16. 16. How do you have the conversation about body positivity and, and embracing when I've done who this. you are yes. when you have decided she's, an she's athlete. gorgeous. She's, she's a amazing. track star. She's a track star, um, yeah. How do you have the body positivity conversation? It was a hard one. And, and I, I, uh, I told my husband two days before the surgery because I was giving him information. I wasn't asking for right. permission. Um, but with my daughter, I wanted her to understand that I was doing this for me because I didn't feel good in my own skin anymore. How did anymore. you articulate that? I said, I'm doing, I'm gonna have plastic surgery. And she said, why? She was scared. And I said, because I have very big boobies, sweetheart. And she goes, yeah, I know. I said, yes. <laughs> and I, I just, I wanna be able to run with you. I wanna be able to, uh, you know, warm you up. She's much better than I am. So I was like, I wanna be able to warm up with you. I wanna be able to cool down with you. I can't do that like this. And I wanna be, not only a better parent, but I want to feel good about myself. How did you explain the other though? Because I think, you know, the and breast reduction is a health that. thing. Yeah. But then when you say, okay, but mom, I'm 54 and oh. I want to do well, this. Well, I didn't know I was going to do that yet. Oh, you didn't? No. <laughs> because he sprung that on me when he was marking me for the breast wow. reduction. But I did say, and I love you children, but you took my waist away. I want, I want to look better. And she said, go for it, mom. Go for it. She said, go for it.